Hello darlings, welcome to my channel, I'm Mariam. If it's your first time seeing me, then I hope you enjoy your stay and I hope you decide to join the fam by subscribing because we are a positive bunch and we need more people in our fam. And if you guys know me and if it's not your first time here, then welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Today's tutorial is a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial using a whole bunch of matte shadows as well as some glitter using some very familiar palettes that some of you may own already. Also, this is going to be a very chatty tutorial. I'm talking not only lots of tips and tricks, I'm also talking some personal stuff. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Remember to subscribe. And now let's get started. <laughs> Foundation is already on. I'm wearing the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the color Sand. You can check it out right here in my 2017 Beauty Favorites video where I talk about it a lot. So I'm gonna talk about it no more, but I really wanna see how all of my favorite foundations look on camera, so I'm gonna bring them out in the next few tutorials. I'm gonna pick up this uh, lip scrub from Airborean. It looks like this, kind of like honey. I just tried it for the first time last night and I thought it was so much more than a lip scrub. I thought it was a whole lip treatment and a lip plumper in one. I don't know if they meant to do that, but that's the effect that it has on me and my lips. I'm just gonna let it work its magic. I'm gonna leave it on just like this for now. Ever since I went to Utah with Benefit last week, this part of my face has been so dry. My lips have been dry. My skin around my mouth has been just cracking. It's been looking like the canyons in the desert, just cracks and cracks and cracks and peeling too and hurting and not cute at all. And you'd think that the rest of my face would dry out too. Nope. Nope, nope. I was still oily in my oily zones. Just very dry, like the desert right here. Speaking of benefit, I also want to show you guys my new brow routine, which I just discovered while I was in Utah. And for that, I'm going to be using just three products. Well, two for now and maybe a third one later. This foolproof brow powder from benefit is one of their latest products. It looks like this, basically a two-tone brow shadow that's uh, shaped in the form of a brow. First, I'm going to brush out my brows. And then I'm gonna use this MAC 208S brush to pick up the lightest shadow from the powder and just trace out the shape of my brow, filling it in very gently and very softly. When it comes to brows, you don't want the shadow to be super duper pigmented like an eyeshadow. If it's too pigmented, it'll be much harder to brush out so your eyebrow will end up looking not as natural as you would like and a little bit more drawn on. The pigmentation in this powder is just right. It's not too pigmented, it's not too unpigmented. What's the word? I guess what I'm saying is that there's just the right amount of pigment for it to fill in and deepen and darken and make my brow fleekish. People still say fleek, I don't know. Do you see how natural and how normal it looks? This is the look that I always go for, but it's always so hard for me to achieve with pencils or with pomades. But with the brow powder, it's really, really easy. And for the outer portion of the brow, I'm gonna pick up the darker shade and I'm gonna extend that shape just a little bit and fill in the tail. You could take the Precisely My Brow pencil. I'm using the shade four and you can just draw little strokes throughout the width of your brow. I don't know what it is about this technique, but something about it just makes the eyebrow look not so forced, it just makes it look like you were born with it, you know? I like it. And then what I do is I brush out the brow in its entirety, just to make sure there's no pencil marks and no harsh lines. So now that the eyebrows are done, I'm gonna move on to eyes. For the eyes, I'm gonna start off with my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of this white, add it to the centers of my lid, just want to brighten the lid a little bit, give this surface a bit of a sticky base. Now keep in mind, I already um, applied my concealer and I set it with powder because I stopped wearing primer. So that's essentially my primer. If you love your primer and if it works for you, then you can go ahead and add your primer underneath. So now that that is nice and bright, I'm gonna pick up this cute little palette from MAC. This is what it looks like and it's called Red Hot Times Nine. Get it? Because there's nine little shadows. Cute. Taking Sigma's E35 brush and dipping it right into the center shadow, I'm going to start adding it to... Whoa, that's very pigmented, Mac. I like that. 
I'm going to start adding that to the transition between my brow and my lash line. So right in between, splitting that area in half, concentrating most of the color in the outer portion and then just dragging it in. Windshield wiper motions. Nothing new, nothing different. My trick with eyeshadow blending is to always pick up a little bit at a time, then blend it out, then pick up some more if you want to intensify. Otherwise, you'll be stuck blending it forever. And it's just too time consuming. This way, when you layer it, it just looks a lot more professional in the end. Also, another trick, for this portion, I like to keep my mirror kind of far, like almost at an arm's length. That way I see what the whole effect looks like from double the distance of my mirror and arm's length. Because when you see it this close, it's very detailed, sure, but you're not really gonna get the full effect. Do you guys hear my voice? It's not my voice. Let's just say we had a really good time in Utah. Vlog coming up next week, you guys, so stay tuned. I was actually a little stingy with my snaps while I was uh, in Utah, because I knew that I was vlogging, so I wanted to save the best for YouTube. Plus the service there was really sucky, so it was just easier to vlog and to kind of put the story together later. Next, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush, Sigma E25. I'm gonna dip it into the shadow right next to it, and I'm just gonna cut that crease a little bit. For this, you might wanna grab a little mirror and just use it to gauge your placement. Because placement is very important when it comes to the crease. Oh, I'm so full of tips today. What is going on? I have so much to share. And this is supposed to be a Valentine's Day video, Miriam. Let's talk about relationships. Let's talk about love. Everybody on Snapchat always asks me and Lee for relationship advice, because you know, we've been together for longer than I've been alive, pretty much. And so oftentimes, Lee will get questions from other girls and other women. What do you think I should do in this instance in my relationship? Or like, hey, how do I get this guy's attention? Or hey, what do you think this lipstick looks like with this dress? He really gets a kick out of it. He loves those snaps. Maybe one day we'll start a relationship advice channel and we'll do like a weekly vlog answering questions and giving you guys advice. That'd be fun, no? Let me know what you think about that idea. And if you don't know who Lee is, then follow me on Snapchat and check out my get to know me video with Lee, which I will link up here somewhere. But seriously, I think the key to keeping a healthy romance going is uh, to be best friends, to be honest with one another and to not keep secrets and to be a part of each other's life. We try to be a part of each other's world. We don't even try, we are just, we are a part of each other's world. We do everything together. And sure, we do things separately as well. We have separate friends and we have separate interests. But for the most part, everything that we do, we share. We share responsibility for just about everything. Sometimes when I drink wine, I get this crazy rash on my neck and on my chest. I think they call it the Asian glow. Apparently a lot of Asian people get this. Hives, is that what it's called in English? Mm. It only happens with wine, nothing else, but it's just so annoying. I'm like literally on my first glass and that's when it hits me the hardest, the very first glass. Does this happen to anybody? Comment down below, because it's frustrating. Next time I get a rash in one of my tutorials, you guys are gonna be commenting so quickly, Mariam, I know you're drinking. You've got the Asian glow. I also get this rash when I get a little flustered or excited. I don't know why. Everybody's got something, right? Next, I'm gonna pick up ColourPop's The Element of Surprise palette. Looks very similar to the MAC palette, except this one's mostly shimmery, and there's some matte tones too. So I'm gonna pick up um, this plummy sort of purple, and I'm gonna continue adding it to that crease, but mainly to the outer portion of my eyes. So this is sort of the um, outer crease area. So I have this new technique. Oh, well, here I go with the tips again. I have this new technique of applying my crease color with my eye open. That way I can see what it looks like when my eye is open, because <laughs> most of the time you don't walk around like this. So I like to kind of just gaze straight at the mirror and then blend out my crease according to what my eye shape looks like while I'm looking straight ahead. Let me know if you guys try any of these tips and what you think of them. I always love to hear your feedback and you know, you know I love to interact with you guys. So the more you interact with me, the more I will interact with you. I don't care if I'm up all night interacting. 
rather interact than sleep. Next, I'm gonna take one of those brushes, toothbrushes. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this shade, just a shimmery sort of oyster shell color. Literally stamp it right here in my inner corner and then sort of raise it up, bring it down inwards but mainly stamp. I'm gonna go back to the MAC brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this ivory sort of shadow with the MAC 239S brush, and I'm gonna pack it all over the lid. See, this is why I applied that base, because I really want this white to stick onto it. I want it to be super bright. And what's cool about these matte shadows is that they blend so seamlessly into one another. Then I'm gonna go back to that plummy purple. I'm just picking it up with a short little dense brush from Sigma. This is the Short Shader E20 brush. And I wanted to stay uniform with my brushes. I really did, but half of my brushes from Amen Geary are dirty. They were all MAC brushes that I brought with me. So today I'm using a mixture of MAC and Sigma. With this purple shade, I'm gonna shade almost a wing on my top lash line bringing it towards the crease like this. Next, I'm gonna take whatever's remaining on the brush and line the bottom. Next, I'm gonna go back to the MAC palette. I'm gonna pick up this uh, very dark navy purple sort of shade using the Sigma Wing Liner E06 brush. I'm going to very lightly line my top lash line and wing it out. Next, I'm gonna take my Stila liner and do the thing that I hate doing the most, which I won't even mention because I mention it in every single video, so I'm not gonna be redundant. You're just gonna watch me struggle and suffer. If you're going on a daytime Valentine's Day, I would say leave the lower waterline alone. However, if you're going on a night date, then go ahead and line the lower waterline lash line as well. Whew. I'm also gonna smudge it out right underneath using that dark navy purple from the MAC palette. Now that the eyes are pretty much done, I'm gonna use Benefit's new Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which you have seen me talk about before on my Snapchat, on my Instagram. It's a new volumizing mascara that uses a super fine wand. And it's also the reason why we all went to Utah with Benefit for the launch of this new product. And honestly, you guys, this does a lot for my little lashes. I don't have to tell you. You will see the difference right now. These lashes are not even curled and look how fat they look. Now, if I were to curl my lashes, boom, they just stay there waving at people. Look what it does to my bottom lashes. How nice do they look from here, huh? New favorite alert. You heard it right here. For the final touch on the eye, I'm gonna take a little bit of this new Pixie Glitter Lights. The glitter dust, glitter shadow. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and take some with just my index finger. And I'm gonna plop it to the center of that lid to brighten up that area some more. This makes the whole look come alive. It's just so ethereal and so pretty, especially for a date. If you're sitting in that dim light setting under that candlelight, this is gonna play with that light. I love glitter. And I do love this one from Pixie. Don't quote me on this, but it just might be a dupe to steal his magnificent metals. And it's much, much cheaper. So let me know if you want me to make a video on that and compare the two. For the lashes, I'm gonna apply these half lashes from Huda Beauty in the style Camille. And I'll be right back. Lashes are on. Next thing that I'm gonna do is just spray. Ooh, a little bit of this uh, Fix Plus Rose. While that's drying, I am gonna pick up some lippies. I'm gonna line my lips with Laura Mercier Lip Liner in Plumberry. I'm not gonna contour today because I'm gonna show you guys a new technique that I started using that I really like. I'm gonna take this uh, brush, the same one that I used for the inner corner, of course I cleaned it, and I'm just gonna diffuse the edges of my lips using this brush. So it's not gonna be a super precise pout, it's gonna be more like a stained pout. And that's what makes the lips look so much fuller. Kind of like that. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of gloss. This one is Dose of Colors Messy Bun. Ooh, I like that name, cute. I don't know, this is cute, but I feel like it's a little too matchy-matchy. Hold that thought. So I blotted that gloss off. It was just a little too perfect. I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. 
And then I grabbed some more Dose of Colors new glosses. I just love the quality. And so I'm thinking this one's like a little too summery with the purple. This one a little too glittery with the eyes. This one though, I think it's just right. Can you not? It is. I feel like this gloss just elevated this whole look, didn't it? For the blush, I'm gonna add a little bit of a State Mint blush from Dose of Colors. Just right here on the apples of the cheeks. Not too much, not too little, just a hint. And then for the highlight, I'm gonna use this one from Fenty, the darker, more shimmery side, which is Chic Freak. That looks really nice. A little bit on the chin, just a pinch on that forehead, only if you want to. And that's it. So here we have it, this is the final look. Purple, pink, glittery, glossy, flossy, the whole thing, you know the drill. So to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing this year for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is my grandmother's birthday and sad to say we lost my grandmother this year so I'm not really in the mood to celebrate. But having said that, makeup does make me feel better and my grandmother was one of those people that loved to celebrate so we'll see how it goes. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because it is very important and come back very soon because I am going to be posting my Utah Amangiri with Benefit vlog. All I'll say is that it was very lit, so stay tuned. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Caught.